My parents always gave us experiences, like my dad would pile all the kids in the car and we would go to the Museum of Fine Arts or we would be going to the ocean or we'd have all these incredible adventures. They were really inspiring and they always provided us opportunities even though we were uh, meager means. My mom would always buy things. We'd have glitter and paint, all kinds of crazy materials. She just let us go to town as kids. I studied in my teens with an artist named Bob Kloblowski in Haverhill. He was the founder of the Haverhill Art Association. He and he taught me everything about painting, everything that I know. Color theory, composition. My younger years I, I studied, I worked. There was a period in my life where I wasn't painting. For years I was very afraid to talk to other artists. I was afraid to tell people I was an artist. I knew all these amazing people who were creating art. It was almost like this sense of shame, like, oh, you know, you went to art school, you, you used to create art, and now you're not. And I, I was just so afraid to tell people about wanting to be a painter. And then I think I just, at one point, thought, if I'm going to do this, I have to do this. And I have to jump in with both feet, make up for all these lost years, and just paint. So one painting led to the next painting. I just started getting more confident. People seemed to like what I was making, which was really exciting. And I keep thinking, like, how can I make this work better? How can I take my work to the next level? I was oil painting on canvas and traditional materials. And then I started finding out about birch panels and masonite panels. I started looking around, and I had this old piece of brass kicking around the studio, and I was looking for surfaces to paint on. I love painting on slick, smooth surfaces, and this is slick and smooth, and, and let's see what happens. I really enjoy the results. So I started acquiring pieces of metal. I go buying copper and brass and galvanized steel and anything that I could find. I started working on the metal and experimenting, trying to see what works and what doesn't work. It's been really an exciting process. I started trying to evolve the idea of landscape and seascape and push it from traditional subject matters, putting my own emotion and my own spin on things. For a while there, I think I felt like I was walking in a coma and found myself. I'm in the moment. I'm busier than I've ever been in my whole entire life, and I'm excited each day to wake up.